Okay, so this is an exciting video for me. I've kind of gone through some of this book, quite a lot of it myself already, but I just thought, you know what, let's just do it from the beginning on video. So here's Make Electronics. It's the second edition. This book is fantastic. If you want to learn about how to do circuits, building circuits, you know, using transistors, relays, capacitors, everything, this book covers it. So what we're going to do is video by video, we're just going to go through each circuit. So I'm going to skip through most of the theory, although the author does do a very good job of explaining quite a lot of things. But, you know, in order to not bore you, I'm going to stick to the circuit side of things and just talk you through how I build the circuit. We'll go through it together. But I do recommend in your own time, do the reading as well alongside each chapter. If you want to download this book, just Google Make Electronics Second Edition PDF Download. You'll be able to find it. So for me, my plan with this book is I basically need to get my circuit building skills up. I know a lot of the theory behind capacitors, inductors, transistors, diodes. I've got the theory side of it on point, no problems. But the real world application is terrible for me. I mean, I've used the multimeter probably 20, 30 times, which is nowhere near enough for an electrical engineer. So, all right, this is the first circuit here. So we're going on to so page 57. It's experiment three, your first circuit. The experiment, three, the first two experiments, I think like, firstly, he tells you to put a battery on your tongue. Secondly, he tells you to short out a battery. So it's just kind of getting a feel for electronics and stuff. But let's go with the first circuit here, which is basically using a nine volt battery in order to power an LED. And we're going to use three different values of resistors. He's got here 470 ohms, one kilo ohms and 2.2 kilo ohms. I don't have those values. So instead I've got a one kilo ohm resistor, a 2 kilo ohm resistor and I've got a 330 ohm resistor as well so I'll be using those then he says get an LED so I've got a red LED here I've got a 9 volt battery and then he uses three alligator clips and I'd currently only have two like pure alligator to alligator clips which I know is a bit silly of me I should have more and you know what this is a good point to mention actually that as I'm building my electronic workshop I don't just go and buy everything all at once you know spend drop 500 quid on the whole workshop i buy as i'm doing projects so what i do is as and when i'm doing the the different tutorials or projects that i'm going through that's when i purchase things so it's time to get acquainted with the most fundamental component we'll be using in electronic circuits the humble resistor as the name implies it resists the flow of electricity as you might expect just talking about resistors here learning how to measure it decoding resistors i wish we could get resistors that were like that but they actually have the values on them. I hate these bloody resistors with the color codes, especially these cheap blue ones. You can you can't even see the colors. The yellow ones, at least you can actually see the colors and the the color scheme on them. But it tells you, for example, how to identify the color codes of resistors. Then it talks about lighting and LED. So if you're new to LEDs, the important points are these three points here. The longer wire sticking out of the LED must receive a more positive voltage relative to the shorter wire. I love the way he's explained it as well as like he didn't go into anode and cathode, which I like. It's like very beginner friendly, this book. The positive voltage difference that you apply between the long wire and the short wire must not exceed the limit stated by the manufacturer. This is known as forward voltage. So the forward voltage can't be too high. Otherwise, you're going to blow out the LED. The current passing into the LED through the long wire and out through the short wire must not exceed the limit stated by the manufacturer. This is known as the forward current. So again, not too much current going through the LED. What happens if you break these rules? And he goes, you'll see, you'll see for yourself experiment four. Okay, let's continue. And he just mentions here, important point, make sure you get the battery the right way around. The plus symbol means positive, minus symbol means negative. Okay, and then this is ultimately the circuit that we're building. So we've got our three resistors here, two on the side, one that we're using. We're connecting the battery, the alligator clips to the battery. One of the alligator clips are going to the LED. The other one's going to the resistor. And then for me, I don't have this third green I'll get a clip, so I'm going to be connecting these two together. So let's do this. Okay, so I've got my 2K resistor, 1K resistor, 330 ohm resistor, battery, and LED. Let's connect our uh, negative there, positive there. Shouldn't really have that exposed like that, but I couldn't get that bit back on. So we'll start with the 220 ohm resistor. Just connect our negative end to, onto one end of, of the resistor. Get it in a way that it doesn't move like that. And then positive. We're going to connect it to the longer end of the uh, LED. Okay. And then now all we need to do is just touch these and we'll see our LED is going to turn on. Simple, right? Okay. So let's do the same now with our one kilo resistor. One kilo resistor. Just take note of how bright it is, right? Okay. So we can leave that there. 
take off our two kilo resistor. Put on our one kilo one. Okay, same again. The one kilo. And then now, 330. Ready? So you can see there should be a, a fairly big difference in brightness, right? Between the two kilo, which is obviously supplying more resistance, hence less current going through the resistor. So now here we've got a high amount of current going, so the LED is significantly brighter. And that's it. Super simple, right? The last part of this chapter is then just teaching us how to measure the resistance of a, of a resistor, which I don't feel like I, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but basically he mentions that you shouldn't hold the resistor in your hands because... Otherwise, you know, you're going to, um, you're going to measure the resistance of your body as well. But I do it all the time and it works for me. So here I've set it to 20K. You can set it to 2K if you want as well. But just come here, grab the resistor, do it like that. And then now you can see on 20K, if I had a one, then that would be 1K, right? So I've got 320 or 0 0.32 kilo ohms which is you know 320 ohms so this is a 330 ohm resistor so let's change this to here measure it again and you can see we've got 325 ohms and this is me of this is me holding it right so i put it down and then do this again so i didn't me holding it made no difference so we'll do the same here you can see this is a 1.976 kilo ohm resistor which is 1976 ohms or basically two kilos right and the same again here again with resistors it doesn't matter which order you you hold the probes in so here i've got you know 990 ohms or i can swap them around i can do it without moving and the same 990 ohms doesn't make a difference cool yeah so that's how you measure resistance and then he goes on to mention like just the numbering of resistors and the multipliers involved, etc. Don't worry about that. And then clean up and recycling, which I like that he includes that at the end of each chapter or each experiment, which is that you'll use the battery in the next experiment and the resistors can be re reused in the future. And that's it. So we're on to experiment four. So I'll do experiment four in the next video, but in case you want to get prepared for it, you just need two resistors, two LEDs, test leads. We need four of them this time and a potentiometer, which is a 1K linear potentiometer. Again, if you just type potentiometer 1K linear into Amazon or eBay, you'll find that right there and it's super cheap. See you in the next one.